let's start with polynomials today you all are aware of a degree of a polynomial suppose if i write a polynomial x square plus 1 the power of x over here is 2 that means the degree of this polynomial is 2 similarly suppose if i have written x to the power 7 minus x to the power 5 plus 1 here the highest power being 7 the degree of this polynomial is 7 Now, if the polynomial has highest power of variable x as one, well, we'll be calling it as a linear polynomial. For example, two x plus one. Here, the power of x is one, so it is a linear polynomial. Another example of a linear polynomial could be three x minus seven. Now, if the highest power or the degree of the polynomial is two, we'll be calling it as a quadratic polynomial. An example of a quadratic polynomial is x square plus x minus one. This is a quadratic polynomial. The highest power being two. Another example could be x square minus one. Similarly, if the degree of the polynomial is three, then it would be said to be a cubic polynomial. Let us take an example of a cubic polynomial. The example of a cubic polynomial is. X cube minus one. This is a cubic polynomial. So, if the degree is one, it would be linear. If the degree is two, it would be quadratic. If the degree is three, it would be a cubic polynomial. Now, we'll be discussing the roots or zeros of a polynomial. Suppose if p x is a polynomial in x. Suppose if I write p x equal to x minus one. This is a linear polynomial. Now, if there is some real number a for which this p x becomes zero, then that number a is said to be zero or root or solution of the polynomial. For example, if I put x is equal to one, then what happens? One minus one is equal to zero. So p of one is equal to zero. If p of one is equal to zero, one is said to be a zero of the polynomial. Similarly, for any number a. If p of a is equal to zero, then a is a zero of p x, right? So this is the meaning of zero of a polynomial. Next, we'll be discussing the geometrical meaning of zeros of a polynomial. If you are having any polynomial in some variable x, the number of points where the Sketch or the graph of the polynomial is intersecting the x-axis would be said to be the zeros of the polynomial. For example, if I draw the graph of a linear polynomial, and you are all aware that the graph of a linear polynomial is a straight line. So suppose if I have drawn a linear polynomial, it has intersected the x-axis at only one point, so it has got one zero. Similarly, for a quadratic polynomial, you know that the sketch is a parabola. Now this parabola, if I trace it for different curves, for different polynomials of degree two, the parabola would be like this. It would be opening upwards if the coefficient of x square is greater than zero. It would be opening downward if the coefficient of x square is less than zero, or it may just touch the axis at one of the points. So I have drawn three different cases. The first one, wherein the curve does not touch the x-axis at all. The second one, wherein it touches at two distinct points, and the third one, where it touches at only one point. So, what you conclude that any polynomial in variable x of degree n has at most n zeros. Any polynomial in a variable x of degree n will have at most n zero. It can have zero zeros, one zero, two zeros. At maximum n zeros. Suppose if I take a cubic polynomial, it may have no zeros. It may have one zero, two zero. At maximum three zero. Thank you.